welcome to nav classes today we are going to discuss about syllogs basics and we are going to learn about the new trick new technique to solve syllogisms with 150 rules without any venn diagram so let me see if you want to get this hindi video then you can get this from my blog i provide link under description box here i detail notes on syllogisms 150 rule if you want to get these notes just visit my blog link is given in description box for notes firstly you should know about uh, some rules of syllogs if statement is positive remember these rules if statement is positive then conclusion must be positive for example if statement is saying all pens are pens then conclusion must be positive it can't be in no it can't be negative for example there is one more positive uh, positive statement that is some pens are pencil then conclusion must be positive second rule is if statement is negative then conclusion must be negative for example statement is negative here no pens are pencil then conclusion must be negative conclusion cannot be in all or some okay there one more there is one more example that is some pens are not pencil even in this case the statement is negative and conclusion must be negative it can't be positive this is not possible let's see another uh, rules it means positive plus positive if we are merging two statements then positive plus positive will give positive conclusion if we are merging two statement one statement is perfectly positive and other statement is negative then your conclusion will be negative conclusion okay remember this rule most of people make mistake in these rules these are basic rules if both statements are negative then there is no conclusion this is really very important part here if both uh, statements are negative then there cannot be any conclusion and in this case you will give wrong and uh, if in this case any conclusion will be wrong okay then there is another rule if there is all in statement for example all pens are pencils all men are car then it will give 100 to men and 50 to car let me consider this with help of example what happen in syllogs there is statement okay and we consider statement as income as income and there is conclusion we consider conclusion as expenditure expenditure okay if the statement is starting with all if it is all men a car then you will denote men 100 and car 50 okay and whatever the income this person is having this statement is having man is having 100 and car is having 50 it means one cannot spend more than 50 car cannot spend more than 50 if in conclusion car is having 100 for example i am telling you that all cars are men in conclusion if car is having 50 in statement then car cannot spend 100 out of 50 man can spend 50 but car cannot spend 100 so this conclusion will not follow so we can cancel this out this is the basic criteria behind syllogs statements are income and condition uh, conclusions are expenditure now let's see some 50 50 if uh, the statement is saying some men are car then we will denote 50 to men and 50 to car this is the basic criteria behind syllogs and if there is no then no will denote 100 and 100 no means definite no if no men are car then it is saying that 100 100 Hundred for man and hundred for car. There is one more uh, part here. This is the case for sum not. Many of people are not able to explain this sum not. But here I am explaining this. Sum not means sum means we know we denote fifty uh, for sum and hundred for not.
नॉट नो मीन्स हंड्रेड ओके सो सम नॉट सम मैन इट मीन्स वी डी नॉट फिफ्टी टू मैन एंड हंड्रेड टू कार बिकॉज देर इज नो विद कार ओके देन वी कंसिडर डायरेक्ट रिलेशन स्टेटमेंट इज ऑल मैन आर पेंसिल्स if the statement exactly repeating in the conclusion there is the conclusion all pens are pencil and statement is all pens are pencil so if statement repeats in conclusion that conclusion is not valid hence not follows we will definitely say that this particular conclusion will not follow and this is wrong second part all pen are pencil because it is repeating exactly same as statement so it cannot follow as in this case conclusion is saying second conclusion is saying all harmoniums are flutes harmonium is here and flute is here okay so there is indirect relationship between these two so this can be combined with help of instruments so this question you have to solve and this is indirect relation so this is the example of indirect relation then you have to solve this your own and tell me the answer over here so what happens in syllogs is there is statement or there are statements there can be two or three statements so we consider them as income okay and we have to spend out of these incomes it means our conclusion there are some conclusions conclusions are expenditure so whatever income we are having we have to spend out of them so this is the rule of income and expenditure so we have to uh, spend from our given income if one person is having 100 then that person can spend 100 if the person is having 50 that person can spend only 50 that person cannot spend 100 so this is the case what we are going to consider while solving all type of syllogisms let me consider some questions over here so here is the question number 1 this is saying all means are rows so firstly what we do is we go by our conclusions because these are the conclusions which we have to correct or uh, wrong so it means firstly we start from the conclusions conclusion is saying some means are rows it means we have to consider some means means we have to make the relationship between means and rows the case is of all and some let me denote 150 with all as we know that 100 goes 150 goes with all and this is the case of some so for with some 50 50 hope we understand till now now means can spend 50 out of 100 yes it is true and rows can spend 50 out of 50 yes rows can spend it means this conclusion follows then let's see next some all roses are tulips here it is saying all tulips are rows so we will denote 150 over here and with that all i denoted 150 whether rows can spend 50 out of 100 yes can spend but whether tulip can spend 50 Uh, it means tulip can spend hundred out of fifty. That is not possible because nobody can uh, spend hundred if that person is having fifty. So we cancel that conclusion. Some tulips are lotus. Some tulips are lotus. So this is the statement over here. So this is the case of some. So let me denote fifty fifty over here. If I denote fifty. with lotus and 50 with tulip then yes it is in one statement so we can denote 50 50 with this sum part whether lotus can spend 50 yes whether tulip can spend 50 yes it means this conclusion follows so you can see this is the case of restatement because the statement is repeating all means are rows is given in statement in conclusion it is repeating all means are rows hence as we understood in our rules if the statement is case of restatement then we should incorrect the conclusion will be false whether it will follow or not but the conclusion should be false over here so you will wrong it 
let us consider this one this is question is saying important question it is very important question uh, some trains are pencils here is train and here is pencil so we have to merge these four statements because there is indirect relationship so because of indirect relationship we have to merge them so whether we can merge pencil and pencil or like so so we have to merge this three statement let us see we have to calculate this for trains and see there is odds odds common so we have to merge these odds first and then we will be able to reach that pencil so there is pen pen uh, is common in second statement and first statement so let me consider whether we can merge them or not we can merge this statement only if total of them is more than 100 it means one should be 100 to merge so as per 150 rule i denoted 50 50 with some with all i denoted 150 and with some again i had denoted 50 50 let us try to uh, merge them pen is having there is one pen with 50 and one pen with 100 so there is 100 if we add them so we have 150 it means yes we can merge them because the total of them should be 150 or 200 but in case of oats this cannot be merged because it is having 50 50 we can merge these pens and pencils pens and pens but in case of oats and oats this cannot be merged because we have to calculate this we the total of oats 50 plus 50 is 100 it is not 150 and 120 or uh, 200 the total should be greater than 100 so we cannot merge them if the statements are not merging then conclusion will be false some pens are oats here is pens and here is oats pen can uh, spend see with some case we will write 50 50 so pen can spend 50 and oats can spend 50 yes this conclusion follows next is trains and game gain this is the case of sum so i denoted 50 50 over here if this is the train and game so here is the train and game so we have to merge them let us see how to do with train there is oats let me understand how to merge there is oats with train so with oats there is pen so we have to uh, merge these pencils to get games so these are uh, four statements which we have to merge with each other okay if we want to merge these pencils then yes we can merge them because the total of pencils and pencils is 150 it means more than 100 it should be 150 uh, or 200 so we can merge them if there are pen and pen 50 and 100 total is 150 yes we can merge them but come toward this side here is oats with them whether we can merge these oats no because the total of oats is only 100 so we cannot merge 50 plus 50 100 because it cannot be merged hence the conclusion will not follow because here we cannot merge them question number three here it is saying that some tables are chairs table and chair let me see table and chair is over here this is negative statement because of this negative statement we cannot conclude the positive conclusion so conclusion cannot be positive here conclusion must be negative with help of this we can say yes it is not following but here are two more possibilities that this is these are two another statements which are positive let us see this some chairs are lions so there is 50 50 because there is some and some lions are table 50 50 okay can we merge them there is 50 50 over here we cannot merge them because total of lion is only 100 this should be more than 100 that is 150 or 200 so this cannot be possible so even in this case the conclusion is not following so we can definitely say that conclusion is wrong some chairs are men some chairs are men 
let us see where our chairs is here and man is here here these are two negative statements and we can definitely say that there cannot be any conclusion over here these are two negative statements and conclusion is positive this cannot pass this is not possible even though you can merge them and you can conclude them but this is not possible at all because of our rules okay so our second conclusion is wrong here even we can even if we can see that this is negative 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 will definitely give no conclusion and negative will give negative answers some lions are man this is the case of some that is positive so lions are here and man is here whether we can conclude no because some is positive conclusion here is the negative conclusion we have to merge these two but even before merging these two we can conclude that this statement is positive and this state conclusion is positive but here one statement is negative positive plus negative means negative conclusion hence we can correctly say that this conclusion can not follow so we should wrong this answer wrong this conclusion so let we keep it wrong here because this is positive conclusion let us see no chair is man where are, where is chair let we find out no means 100 100 we know that where is chair chair is here man is here there are two negative statements so here we can clearly say that we can merge them yes we can merge them but these statements are negative and negative as per our rules negative and negative statement have no conclusion at all even if we can merge them even if we can conclude the answer but negative and negative statement combinedly give no conclusion so hence we wrong the answer some lions are not man as we understood that some not means 50 100 so where are lions and man lion is here and man is here table is common over here we have to merge them let we see for some not 50 and 100 lion will get 50 man will get 100 okay so we have to merge the table with that this is the negative conclusion yes positive and negative statement will definitely give negative conclusion this problem is solved here so this can be the conclusion let us see whether it is following or not if we merge them then there is table with 100 and there is table with 50 let us consider yes we can merge them because it, the total of them is more than 100 so man is having 100 then man can span 100 out of it and lion is having 50 then lion can span 50 out of 50 yes this conclusion is following next is no table is lions this is again negative conclusion no means 100 100 okay no table is here and lions is here so there is chair which is common with negative negative conclu uh, statements we can merge them because chair uh, chairs are having 115 total yes they can be merged table can spend 100 yes table can spend 100 but see here carefully lion is having only 50 but lion cannot spend 100 out of 50 so here this conclusion is not following so we have to say that this conclusion not follows because lion is having only 50 lion cannot span 100 today we are able to learn the basics of silox please do subscribe if you didn't yet and share my videos with your friends you can uh, come and join me on facebook group here you will get all these pdfs in next lecture i will teach you either neither possibility silox because we can solve any kind of silox with help of this <laughs>